we can define the same higher order sequence processing procedures for streams that we have for regular lists. In fact, the implementations are identical. Well, we just change cons to con stream and cutter to cutter stream in map and filter and reduce, and we'll have implementations that only compute what's absolutely necessary in order to complete the computation. And in that way, we can end up using constant space instead of linear space for things like computing the sum of primes. So the implementation really is that simple. I create a little space and I add the word stream everywhere and I'm done. But now we can map and filter and reduce using infinite streams. I'll show you one of my favorite examples. How do you build a stream of prime numbers? Well, you can take a range and filter by is prime, but there's a simpler way. The stream of integers not divisible by any k less than or equal to n is built out of the stream of integers not divisible by any k less than n filtered to remove any element divisible by n. And this recurrence is called the sieve of Eratosthenes. It will allow us to build a stream of primes just using filter stream and making sure that we remove the multiples of each element for every prime that we find. So we start out with all integers, and the first one is prime, and then we filter out any multiples of that one before discovering the second prime. And then we filter out all the multiples of that one and find the third prime. Filter out all the multiples of that one, find the fourth prime of seven, etc. And this will give me a sequence of all primes, infinitely. But of course we'll only compute the part that we actually want to view. So here are map, filter, and reduce defined in terms of streams. Just like the implementation with lists, but we've added the word stream here and there. This sieve that I've described takes in a stream s that's already been filtered by all of the prime numbers less than the car of s. So all I need to do now is con stream starting with the car of s and followed by the result of filtering using a function that make sure that for everything following, none of them are a multiple of the car of s. Which can be determined just by computing the remainder of dividing x by the car of s and checking to see if it's zero. And we filter the cutter of s, which will remove all multiples of car s now we want to remove all multiples of all other primes as well, which means that we apply the sieve to the result of this filtering. Now we can define a stream of all primes by applying the sieve to the integer stream that starts with the number 2. What is primes? It's a stream that starts with the number 2, but if I get the prefix of primes, for the first 10, then I'll see 10 different prime numbers. Or I could compute 20 different prime numbers if I want, and it all happens quite fast indeed. 